target of this 3D scanner demo is to demonstrate and showcase future applications and services which require high computational power and high data speed. And, and the purpose of the research is to evaluate the data transmission capabilities and requirement and also the high computational power requirement and, and delays which are caused by the computational time that it takes. The demonstration itself is, can be divided into three parts. So there's a picture taking part, then there's transferring the raw data into a computational unit, processing the data and then of course sending the complete 3D model to an end user. And basically for the future target. In this demonstration there are 144 cameras and they are in a cylinder shape which performs a three-dimensional uh, image of the object. It is not just about data transmission capability, it is also about data processing capabilities. For example, in 6G networks, processing capability is most likely to locate it right next to the base station in a so-called edge servers. This is already happening today with 5G networks and edge servers can locate it in any industrial environment, for example factories or hospitals. The processing can be done at the edge of cellular network, which is usually close to the end user. So the data transmission delay can be reduced to minimum. The outcome of the 3D model is that the end user receives 3D model of the object that is photographed and processed in very fast pace. A very accurate 3D object is created and this object can be used for various purposes. One is for example creating a virtual avatar for any application or service that there is. Another use case is that you can measure the object that is being photographed and processed. The application itself provides very accurate uh, dimensions of the object. And the avatar or object can be made virtually to move in various ways. In these demonstrations there is a very high data transmission requirement. It also has even higher computational power requirement. And on top of that, there is an application, or in the future it can be a complete service that can be offered for an end user. And to have a fluent end user experience, all of these different aspects need to work together in a seamlessly way and in a very fast pace. <laughs>